Appalachian Wireless now has new forward pay pricing, where you can pay up front and get the data and features you desire. Five gigabytes of data, just $39.99. Unlimited, just $79.99. Better service, bigger savings. That's today's Appalachian Wireless. A pair of South Carolina cousins were arrested over the weekend after racing vehicles through Pikeville. But the traffic violations turned out to be the least of their problems. The Pikeville Police Department received a call Saturday stating two cars were traveling over 90 miles per hour along US 23 South. Not common in the area it's because of all the red lights and the congestion. That's just not a place where that's um, a typical for, for racing to take place. And uh, both of these individuals being from out of state, I'm assuming that's probably why they didn't know the, the road in the area were able to stop one of the vehicles near the Cassidy Boulevard intersection. It was determined that vehicle was considered stolen because the driver, 24-year-old Shaquille Weaver of Conway, South Carolina, had allegedly paid for it with a fraudulent check. The driver of the other vehicle, 25-year-old Tim Vereen, also of Conway, South Carolina, turned into Cassidy Boulevard Shopping Center. While attempting to stop him, police received a call that Vereen parked the vehicle and was running down the street with a suitcase. Police were able to locate and apprehend him. Upon further investigation, it was determined that both his vehicle and license plate were stolen out of Michigan. The suitcase contained his clothes and some cell phones. Tim Vereen was charged with speeding, fleeing or evading police, receiving stolen property over $10,000 or more, and racing a motor vehicle on a public highway. Shaquille Weaver was charged with theft by unlawful taking over $10,000 or more, theft by deception, and several traffic offenses. Both were lodged in the Pike County Detention Center. In Pikeville, Shelby Porter, EKB News.